Hey guys, just wanted to go over a few uh, questions that I've had about recreational tree climbing or tree camping on whether you're using uh, an ATC or Gree Gree um, and some of the things that I've found helps me use an ATC. Now first off, if you are going to use an ATC, you know this is the cheaper option, um, you want to make sure that yours looks like this, minus this whole thing here, but um, that it actually has what's called the guide mode. So the guide mode is what allows you to actually lock the system out and take your weight. Now the big thing is, um, this is a lot cheaper than a Gree Gree. If you get one that actually has the guide mode, an ATC would run you probably about $25, $30 maybe, where a Gree Gree um, is going to run you probably $100. Uh, yeah. So I don't actually have a Gree Gree. Um, I just have an ATC, but I have used Gree Grees before, um, and growing up, that's what they had. And the big, the big thing in between using an ATC and a Gree Gree uh, for these purposes is going to be your descending. Um, with a Gree Gree, it's going to be nice and easy to do a nice one-handed descending. Um, you can see Logan's video right now. Um, that, you know, you just pull the lever, and you just use that as your actuation tool um, and that helps you get down nice and smoothly. Now the ATC can become a little tricky. One reason is when you have the rope in between you can actually get them to cross. If you're descending and coming down and um, whichever way you're using to uh, lever your ATC in order to release the rope, these ropes you can see in here, we get crossed and knotted, kind of like that. Um, sometimes a little bit more extreme. Um, and then that, you're sitting there, you're hanging however high up, and you've got to somehow get out of this situation. So one thing that I find helps me, now it's a little bit easy because I have a 9mm rope, which is not necessarily recommended um, if you're new to this because, um, again, the rope will just, it'll go a lot quicker through your ATC, and if you're not comfortable with it, do please stay with a, with a thicker rope. It's gonna make everything a lot easier. So one thing I use to uh, actually get myself out of that situation is when I am descending, I still keep my, my, uh, like my ascending tools on the rope. So I have, I use a press -a loop, I don't have anything fancy. Uh, I just tied in a climb heist, which I'm not doing right now very well. Um, but I keep that in my hand, and I keep, of course, like my foot loop and anything else I, ha I need with me. Um, so I keep this, so if I'm descending, um, I'm going to keep my uh, pressic loop on here. And I'm just going to hold it lightly. So if this does cross, I can switch and put my foot loop back on here, stand on it, and that'll help me relieve the pressure so you can actually get this undone. And this, this helps whether if you have like an ascender, I just make sure that's clipped to you if you're descending. So this way, if you need in a situation, you can put your ascender right back on. If you get something like a, a rope man, um, you can easily just flip the switch on that and then if you get stuck, just engage it, put a foot loop on there, and you're good to go. So the way I actually utilize um, my ATC to descend is uh, Logan sometimes recommends using a screwdriver in this hole here, which you can see I have um, an accessory cord here. Um, is actually run run a screwdriver in there and use that as like a hand lever. Um, I'm not as big of a fan of that idea just because if I drop the screwdriver, I know some of them have holes on the end and you can put like a wrist strap through that so you don't do it. I just haven't been too big of a fan of that. So essentially what I do is I keep, uh, this is what I use for my uh, foot loop um, for actually ascending. So I'd have that on my press look like so, and I'd just be using this and standing on it. So what I'll do 
is I will just switch it and I just keep a cord here to make it nice and easy. Lock it out and then I'll usually just tie an extra little knot in it because I find it's too long uh, for this webbing. And then I'll use that and I'll use my foot to uh, actually release the pressure. So that, that helps me. Um, but and the first few times I was doing that, that was still choppy. So I actually resorted to other techniques to help ATC actually go very smoothly down. Um, so just like any time you're actually repelling and doing a genuine repel, what you're gonna wanna do is keep the tail end of the rope behind you or low in some sort of way um, in order to create more friction because you have your notches there, so that gets that gets more friction. If you hold it down, I could I could sit here on it all day, so long as I can hold it down there, I'm not moving anywhere. So, what I ended up doing is, if I'm not wearing gloves like this, because it's winter, in the summer, I just keep a pair of synthetic, uh, just fingerless work gloves. You can see I've even kind of like burned a lip doing uh, a couple of fun repels. <laughs> But uh, story for another time. All right. So I'll keep one hand on my pressic, and then I'll be sitting in. Whee! So I'll be sitting in on it, and I'm just gonna keep the rope down, and I'm gonna gently apply pressure down on my on my foot loop, and then that's gonna straighten it up. And I'm kind of standing. It will get you in a slightly awkward position. Um, you're gonna be kind of like leaning out a little bit, but I find. It, that's all right. Um, so you're going to be leaning out, but just make sure you keep that hand down with the rope and slowly let the rope out of your hand and slowly lift up your hand to let rope out. So that way it'll feed slowly, slowly, slowly. And then you can just, if you feel like it's going too fast, um, you can always just break off right there and let go of the, uh, the foot loop and then we'll stop you immediately. If you're going fast again, that'll probably cross you up. But if you keep some sort of ascender, some sort of friction knot, press it with you, you can get yourself out of that situation pretty easily. So hopefully that helps. Um, if you haven't heard of Logan, who I've referenced in this video several times now, um, please check out his stuff. I think he is the greatest resource right now for recreational tree climbing and camping. Um, he's got two websites now treefool.com where he just puts out all of his videos, all of his tutorials, and he just opened up a forum, um, if you haven't checked it out, called verticalcamping.com, I think. Um, unless, of course, you're watching this video because I posted it on Vertical Camping. So, hello Vertical Camping people. Uh, I'm Roy of Chasing Cornfields. I, I do this, I guess. So, Otherwise, um, if you have any other questions regarding using an ATC system, um, Please let me know. Please let Logan know. I'm sure there's other people out there who are using it who can answer your questions. Uh, yeah, uh, there's no reason not to climb with an ATC and a Presta loop. I'm just using the, the cheap system that Logan has set up, and I've used it quite a few times very successfully. I've never felt like my safety was compromised. Um, ideally, is this my ideal setup? Not really. I'd love to do what Logan has is uh, a Gree Gree and a, a Rope Man setup. But that's not something I'm gonna, you know, spend all my money on right now. I've got better things to do with my money, better things to do with my time. So until uh, next time, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> hey guys, just wanted to go over a few uh, questions that I've had about recreational tree climbing or tree camping on whether you're using uh, an ATC or Gree Gree um, and some of the things that I've found helps me use an ATC. Now first off, if you are going to use an ATC, now this is the cheaper option, um, you want to make sure that yours looks like this, minus this whole thing here, but um, that it actually has what's called the guide mode. Because the guide mode is what allows you to actually lock the system out and take your weight. Now the big thing is, um, this is a lot cheaper than a Gree Gree. If you get one that actually has guide mode, an ATC would run you probably about $25, $30 maybe, where 
a Grigri um, is going to run you probably 100. Uh, yeah. 